Hello folks, my name is David Edgar, I'm the host of Heart and Hand the Rangers podcast and I'm joining you tonight after Rangers defeated Annan by three goals to nil to get to the next round of the Scottish Cup. Much change Rangers side tonight, 11 changes from our last match but the, the headline news was of course the uh, first start for Aaron Ramsey and of course, uh, possibly even more pivotally, the return of Philip Hollander and uh, it was Philip Hollander who got us off to a perfect start. First of all, from a corner he got his head on one and it was headed off the line for another corner but from that corner he got his head on one and it was 1-0 and uh, it was so great to him but we've missed him so much the defence has missed him um, as well as you know as his fans because he makes the rest of them play better I think and I think his contribution last season has been demonstrated really by him not being there so to get him back you know we can't expect him to to, to be straight after an hour and, and into the first team but it was an important step on his road to recovery um it was a, a, a terrible night for football, an absolute blizzard, uh, really, it was chucking it down. Um, friends who were in the stadium tells me that, that it was times it was hard to see the other side of the pitch, such was the volume of the rain and with the wind howling. There was maybe a slight concern from some of us that our, our players might go, hmm, don't fancy this, we've seen it before with big names, wasn't the case at all, Aaron Ramsey in particular, I think, led by example in that regard. Um, he just looked so happy to be playing football and uh, Rangers just swamped. And in, in the first half, it was 2-0 after 20 minutes. A brilliant goal from Kamar Roof. Turn on the edge of the box, curling shot, using the defender to blind the goalkeeper to make it 2-0. Um, could have been 3-0 not long after. Fashion Sakala getting on the end of a ball from new right back Zakowski, who had a good game. Um, put two in a plate, one in the first half for uh, Fashion Sakala, one in the second half for Kamar Roof. So he should have had two assists. Unfortunately, he doesn't. Kamar Roof headed wide and in that incident, uh, in went Fashion Sakala and hit the bar. But he would get a goal, although possibly fortuitously, not long before half time, when a lovely through ball to him from Ahmad Diallo. He looked up to play a cross and it went right in to the far corner of the net. Uh, I'd be claiming it, but I think he's far too nice a guy to do that. Second half, not really a lot happened. Rangers were utterly dominant and Anand just were not in it. Uh, as I say, Rangers could and, and should have added to it, hit the bar through Diallo, uh, as well as a few other chances. But uh, the main thing, again, the second half was getting the substitutes on Ramsey and uh, uh, Ramsey and Hellander went off after an hour. Um, but we got to see the likes of Alex Lowry, who again looks ready for this level, certainly, and a debut for Charlie McCann. Again, you know, confident, good on the ball, good touch. Uh, you want more goals, you know, as a fan, but as a manager at halftime, what you're telling them is no injuries, no bookings, let's just get through this. You're never going to see that Rangers 11 that finished ever again. That's not going to happen. Um, so you know, expecting too much in the way of, of silky play and, and fluidity, really, um, might be a bit of a difficulty. But, you know, we'll, we'll take that. We've got 12 nerve shredding league games to go. So a wee night in the cup where we were able to just relax pretty soon and get the job done, I think is, is absolutely ideal. So we go now to Dortmund on Thursday. Bit of a bit of a contrast to, to go from Annan to the Signal Iduna Park and uh, the likes of Haaland, etc., Marco Royce. But we'll, we'll bring back guys who got a total rest today, not even on the bench, the likes of Aribo, Morelos, Kent, Goldson, etc. So from that point of view, I think um, we, we, we look forward to the draw. All that ever really matters in cup competitions. Um, hopefully we're playing Wraith Rovers in the next round. Not bothered if it's uh, at home or at Starts Park. You know, just either would do me. But yeah, pretty successful. Um, I'd give Zakowski the man of the match. I think on your debut in those conditions to go and play like that. Um, he did pretty well indeed. Not everyone, I think, came out of it brilliantly. There's a couple of guys, Wright and Itton, who just don't ever seem to take opportunities that are handed to them. And I think that the clock is ticking on both of them. But uh, when, when you see the future and the likes of Lowry and McCann, you've got reason to be happy. Aaron Ramsey, of course, we know what he can do. We know what he will do. He was unlucky. He had a goal ruled out for offside, a lovely back heel flick, which was a bit unfortunate. Um, but again, the attitude is a key thing with him. He... he, he didn't look like a superstar going, I'm too good for this. He looked like a guy who just wanted to play football. Um, but for me, the key return of the night, Philip Hellander, I think he will help us immeasurably. Thank you very much for joining me. I'll be reporting quite a few reports actually from Dortmund on Thursday. I'm heading out on Thursday morning. So until then, have a wonderful week. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.